Hi guys, Martin Pickering here from Pickering RC and today we're going to show you how to install and set up the Powerbox Teleconverter. Now this may have been out for a while but there are still quite a lot of people that ask about how to actually program it and set it up so hopefully this video is going to help you uh, in doing exactly that. The uh, Teleconverter itself is as you can see very very simple, it's basically a wire uh, there are two sides to it. One of them is the SBUS2 side, which will be going into anything Futaba, and the Powerbox side, which will be going into anything Powerbox. Now, the first thing that we need to do is register with the teleconverter whether we're going to be using any Futaba radio, or specifically an 18MZ, as is our case. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to connect it to either the Bluecom Bluetooth adapter or the USB and the computer. We're going to be using the Bluecom uh, for simplicity. Now we need to plug this into the side. As this is a power box, we need to plug it into the power box side of this little thing. So that's there. And as they both have the same connector, we can't simply plug those in. Uh, but it does come. The Bluecom does come with a Y lead, so you can simply plug in those. And as they all go into the same wires, that's basically connecting them with the wire. Now we just need to add power uh, to that end, which we can do with a little external battery. We're going to be using a two cell LiPo. And now we just need our little phone, open our mobile terminal by Powerbox. We need to search for the teleconverter and do the quick connect. Now with the teleconverter it takes 10 seconds to connect, it uh, counts down for us, uh, so that should be done in just a sec. 3, 2, 1, good to go, connecting. And we simply select whether we're going to be using all Futaba transmitters or specifically the T18MZ, be it the standard version or the new world champion. And that's that done. Okay, so now we simply unplug everything, take that out, we won't be needing the blue com anymore, that's that done. And we now need to register this as a telemetry sensor with our radio. So as we're going to be plugging it into the back of our radio, we need to find the Futaba side of this, which is this side. In our, this radio it connects on the back, on your radio it may vary slightly, but in theory they all work in the same way. We plug that into there, turn our radio on, and we need to plug in again the battery into the teleconverter. So plug that in there. Now if I just center this so we can zoom in on it a little bit. We go into Linkage menu, search for Sensor, and we need to search for Register. Are we sure we want to register? Yes. Registering succeeded. Brilliant. And we can now see we have a load of Powerbox sensors plugged in. So that's that part done. Again, unplug everything, and now we can go to our model. Okay, the next step is to program our power box to send the telemetry data for Futaba, as the power box units can send it for Futaba, JR, Multiplex, etc. etc. Uh, we need to program into it which one that we're interested in, Futaba. So, first thing we need to do is obviously we need to turn our power box on. <laughs> Turn on both so we get rid of our message. If you ever get that message, regulator malfunction, normally it's because you've only plugged in one of the two batteries. Plug in the second one and you'll be fine. Okay, we now go into the menu holding the main button, the set button. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see exactly what's going on. 
and we need to go down into RxTx settings and we select telemetry. It comes as a spectrum, so we need to change that into Futaba. No, Futaba, there we go. Accept, OK, OK, OK. So that's that part done. And finally, we just need to plug in our teleconverter between the receiver and the power box itself. So again, making sure that we have the right ends on this. The S plus 2 side needs to go to our receiver, which will be here. And the other side, power box side, obviously now goes to the power box, which is there. And there we have it. We should now have our fully loaded telemetry on our radio. As we can see here. We can see the power box voltage of battery one, battery two, the capacity remaining, etc. etc. If you uh, have a power box with a GPS on it, such as the new Royal or an iGyro, you can also uh, receive a lot more information from that on here as well. We can also set alarms if we wish to, so that should a voltage go below a certain value, uh, threshold, vibration on or off, and what type of alert we want. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, good luck installing uh, and setting up your teleconverter. Happy flying, and remember to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with all our latest videos.